My eyes are irritated. It seems like it's going to get worse, so I won't be here for long. There was no getting away from it. Dust and wind coming at residents from every direction. I have seen it this bad in the past, but consistently like this, it's usually it's just a little bit of a, a rush and then it, and it's over. But it's, it, I, the cars are just blowing around. The freeway turned dangerous by the dense clouds of dust and the high winds. I saw the trucks leaning. Some of the trucks were actually leaning over because uh, the wind was coming directly across the freeway. You could see about 25 yards ahead, and uh, it, it, it was, you just had to be very careful, like driving in the fog. In the Casa Grande area, the Department of Public Safety had all of its officers dealing with collisions. That's 12 officers, including the canine unit. I was hoping nobody ran into me. Little, little limited visibility. The conditions so bad, some decided to stay off the road altogether and find refuge inside a nearby shopping center. I've been in and out, but mostly like in, like within the stores and stuff, trying to stay, like we stayed at one store for about an hour and a half just to get to stay out of here. Aaron Anderson in Casa Grande for business has to drive back to Gilbert. He says it will be a long ride home. Just don't go too fast and don't get too close.